Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Let us do Kier's side quest. Again, I know I've been playing this game blind um, so far, but for the side quest, I'm using a guide to help me find out where each person's side quest is. So now I go here. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Kier, is that really you? Huh, long time no see. How you've been? Were you not on your way to the last lands? Well, yeah, but with everything that's happened... Surely you do not mean to say you grew homesick. No, no, it's not that. It's just that we're going to be facing a pretty tough battle. So right now we're trying to see if we can find some more powerful spirit knight stones. And this is the only place I know, after all. Spirit knight stones, you say? I'm afraid all the ones found here grant no great powers. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, however, although I have no spirit knight to give you, I may be able to introduce you to some powerful allies. Allies? They arrived here not long ago and have been helping us repel the monsters. Anyway, it should be far simpler if you meet them for yourselves. They should be by the spirit knight pillar. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Let me move my mic closer to me. Whoops, sorry if that made any weird, awkward noises. Uh, Spirit Knight Pillar was to the north of here, if I remember correctly. Who are you? No more monsters have appeared since then. Things have changed. This village needs to change too, just like Kier did. Whoa, that was a heavy rainfall. I mean, snowfall. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so it's not battle time yet, so I do need to keep Kira in my party. For this upcoming battle, I don't need to have Kira in my party, thank goodness, because I really haven't leveled him up very well. What the heck? Sig? Huh? Who are you people? Are you who Hydor was talking about? Our new allies? Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Sig, the eldest of us three sisters. I'm Kotra, the second eldest. <laughs> Tron is silent. And this is Tron, the youngest. So the youngest sister's pretty quiet, huh? Yeah, don't worry about her. She's got a fear of strangers. I never expected our new allies would be three sisters. Oh, I get it. You must be Kier. It's an honor to meet you, young hero. Hero? Me? We have heard about you from Hydor. How you saved the village from great danger. Oh, well, but me? A hero? I mean, I guess I helped out. But it really didn't do much. Ha! Look at him getting all shy. You just be quiet, old man. Everyone, look out! Monsters! It's a freaking seal. I can take him on. See, look, Julian, one hit, gun. Ah! More of them! Don't worry, leave them to us. One hit from them too, okay. They tough cookies. Damn, you got girls sure are strong. A perfectly synchronized attack, just as one would expect from three sisters, I suppose. You three are you rare bloods? You could tell, huh? You sure are sharp. We are indeed what the humans call rare bloods, like the people of your village. However, we are not exactly the same. A subtype, if you will. A subtype? Our magic power is really strong, and it seems we live longer than you, too. That was amazing, though. When Hyder said you were powerful allies, he wasn't joking. Yeah, well, monsters like that are no sweat for us once we get serious. Thanks. I'm sure everyone in the village really appreciates your help. We are guests in your village. This is the least we can do to repay you. But what happens when they leave? Anyway, Hydra asked us to patrol around here. We better have another look around and make sure no more monsters have snuck in. Please excuse us. Wait, I thought we were supposed to fight. Hey, listen everyone. I got an idea. Will you hear me out? What is it? Thanks, Jelly. So what's this idea? Those three sisters. How about we get them to join the Sacrifices Guard? Join the Sacrifices Guard? Well, I guess it ain't a bad idea. They did seem pretty damn strong. 
It'd probably be a lot more help than any spirit knight's ever going to be. I am against it. Huh? Why? Time has been wound back all these times, and those girls were never part of the guard. Not once. That's my reason. Why does that matter? Jelly's the same, isn't he? This is his first time coming on this journey, right? Well, yes. Those girls are probably special like Jelly. They're like our ultimate ally, sent here to help us accomplish our mission. When you put it like that, it does kind of sound like a good idea. Exactly, old man. I know they'll help our journey succeed. Well, I'm still against it. Definitely. What about you, Jelly? They're not... There's not enough slots in my character lineup for them, so I'm gonna say I'm against it. What? Aw, thought it was a great idea. Well, why don't we ask them what they think? Yeah, right. Even if we do ask them to join us, we don't know whether they'll agree or not. Really? Let's at least try asking them then. Alright, let's go ask them now. Come on, no time to waste. I don't need that shiny anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to talk to them. I wonder why, indeed, my character is special and Deer is special and he joined us this time around. I am the chosen one, and I will break the cycle of death. Ha! Huh, here they are! Hydra's here too! Perfect! Huh? But where's the youngest sister? I believe she returned to the Spirit Knight Pillar after we finished patrolling. She seems to have taken quite a liking to it. Oh, right. Oh well. Say, we've got something we want to talk to you about. We too have something to talk to you about. From what I hear, it seems these girls know Tor. Tor? My brother Tor? He saved us when we were captured by a group of cruel humans. He was a great guy. It was Tor who told us about this village, too. When we learned of his death, we were all overcome with grief. I see. So what was it you wanted to say? Oh, right. Well, we were wondering if you three would join the Sacrifice's Guard. Us? Join the Sacrifice's Guard? Really? You want us coming along? Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. You guys don't have character portraits either, so you're not special people. What are you saying it like that for, Jelly? You can be so insensitive sometimes. Jelly is merely questioning their resolve. If they were to accompany us half-heartedly, it could have great repercussions for all for us all later on. Blah, blah, blah. Still, there's no need to say it like that. Forget it, kid. That's just the kind of guy Jelly is. If you would be willing to have us join your guard, then we shall do so happily. Really? So you'll come with us then? You got it, Master Kier. Heh <laughs> Master Kier. Oh no, no. Sorry, but can I talk to you alone for a minute? Oh, sure. What did you want to talk about? The thing is, we've never traveled with other people before. We're happy to be of help, but I'm worried too. Oh, you don't need to worry. My companions are all great people. But they're humans, right? We've had nothing but bad experiences with humans. So up until now, we've never trusted anyone except each other. Well, sure, there are lots of bad humans, that's certainly true. But my companions aren't like that at all, they're different. I see, you really seem to trust them. I wouldn't be traveling with them if I didn't. I trust them completely, and you can trust them too, don't worry. I mean, sure Jelly wears that spooky mask and he's mercenary. He's pretty unfriendly and you might find him cold. But deep down, he's a good person. I know he is. And Setsuna, the sacrifice, is a really good person too. I see. Thank you. I feel much better now. Alright, I guess my mind's made up then. Great! Well, hello there. Finished your private chat? I never had you down as such a ladies' man here. <sighs> I feel sorry for you, old man. I really do. So old and bitter that you feel the need to tease an innocent, honest young man like me. Wait, you're not jealous, are you? What? Of course I ain't. Anyway, it seems it is settled. It pains me to see the village lose such a powerful new allies. But it is for the sake of the pilgrimage, it cannot be helped. Please make sure that no harm comes to them. You don't need to worry about that. It'll be fine. Your little sister is at the Spirit Knight Pillar, right? Come on, let's go get her. 
Okay, uh, now I think it is at this point. I do not need Kier in my party anymore, so I will be switching him out with... Setsuna, yes! And then the combo I want is there. The only reason why I'm using the guide, apart from getting location info, is to see if I have to do any more one-on-one -on -one battles, like I had to do with, um, what's his face? Neither. And I don't want to do that ever again, for I have to be one-on-one -on -one battle. That was super annoying. Ugh. Should I eat food? Yeah, might as well. What food should I eat? Maximum HP, physical attack, physical defense. Is there a magical attack? Resistance, magical attack, yep. Well, the mushrooms do. Let's go. Seeing as you're not used to things yet, you stay back and let us do the fighting. If anything happens, make sure to protect Satsuna. Understood. The sacrifice's life should be our utmost priority. Got it. Leave the rear guard to us. Alright, let's go. If there's anything you don't understand, just feel free to ask. Good grief. When did Kira get so enthusiastic? Oh, leave him be. He's just trying to make a good impression. Now then, where's that sister of yours? Uh... Well, what? What's going on? Whose magic is this? Leaving us behind you wasn't a good idea. You're wide open. Y you don't mean... You three... But why? We were after the sacrifice all along. <gasps> Tricksy girls! We have cast no magic on you, only out of respect to Tor. I don't care what your reason is. Hurry up and let them go. They're my companions, my friends. No, you are being deceived. Humans will never accept us rare bloods. That's not true. Setsuna and Jelhi, they all accept me. Dear me, the humans have got you right where they want you, haven't they? The only reason they keep you around is because they can use you. If you were just a regular little boy, they'd get rid of you without thinking twice about it. No, that's not true! You don't know what humans are really like. They're not like us. They don't accept people who are different. Never. No matter what. We shall take the sacrifice with us. Uh, no. Hey, there's a third sister. Uh, when do I get free? Give it up right now. How very human. Always try to get your own way by force. We shall use the sacrifice to help us. Help you what? No, I won't let you. The sacrifice is already destined to die. We're simply going to have her die in a way that helps us. If we combine her life force and magical energy with our own energy, we should be able to destroy the spirit knight pillar and extract the magical energy stored inside it. No way, that's impossible. Only the person who channeled their magical energy into it can extract it again. No, I think it may well be possible for us. We're rare bloods like you, except we're much more powerful. Stop it, please! Why are you doing this? So that we have the power to never succumb to any foe again. Are you that desperate for power? The humans live in fear of the monsters, but they are able to treat us rare bloods with great cruelty. We do not wish to let ourselves be overpowered by wicked humans ever again. They're hidden by our clothes, but our whole bodies are covered in scars. We've suffered more at the hands of humans than you could ever imagine in your worst nightmares. But worst of all are the scars in our hearts. Those wounds shall never heal. Someone like you who grew up in a cozy little village like this could never understand. You can never understand how much the humans have made us suffer just for being rare bloods. You said that our sister was quiet, Kier. That is not the case. Huh? She's not just quiet, she can't speak. She used to love singing in her beautiful voice, but one night, the human crushed her throat. <gasps> just because her crying irritated them. What the freak? What? They're spirit knight stones that can store our magical energy, just like the spirit knight pillar can store yours. The humans use them, control, use them to control us. So after Tor set us free, we swore to each other that we would never trust humans. We swore that we would never let them or anyone else ever control us again. What the heck? What? I didn't press anything and it just went to my home screen? 
Wow. The two of us managed to endure our treatment by the humans. But the wounds our younger sister had suffered will never heal. But still... Even after hearing all this, you still don't get it? This is why I hate sheltered little brats like you. Please, stop! I don't want to fight you. Please, please don't make me take the lives that my own brother saved. Ha! You think you could take us all on alone? You've got hostages too. You don't stand a chance. Stop it! Stay away from them! Stay away from Setsuna! Setsuna is my companion, and she's everyone's last hope. If she dies, we're all done for. A terrifying beast is going to destroy the whole world. All the more reason for us to kill her then. How would that help you guys? Indeed, let it destroy this world and everything in it. What are you saying? Don't you get it? If this world is destroyed, it can be reborn. A new world can be created. One where everyone is equal and no one is discriminated against. That's not a guarantee. If the world is destroyed and remade, it's not gonna happen like that. That's crazy. Maybe for you humans. It's your world that'll be destroyed after all. Come on, Kir, you should join us. Forget about those evil humans and come with us. We'll create a new future for our people. It is not too late. Join us, Kir. Jelly, I... Don't forget your... No, listen to your heart. What's it telling you? Yeah, you're right. You're right, Jelly. I'm the only one who has the answers to my own questions. I understand now. I don't know whether humans are good or evil. I don't know who's right and who's wrong. But I do know one thing. No matter how dark the clouds, the sun is always there behind them. Just like the sun, my faith will always be there, no matter how grim things might seem. My faith that one day, everyone will live in peace. Humans, monsters, rare bloods, everyone. <sighs> Don't make me laugh. Your pathetic faith is nothing compared to our pain, our anger. If you're so set on destroying the future, then I'll fight you. I'll stop you, no matter what. My voice is getting hoarse and I can't keep up his voice, oh dang. Whoops, I think I touched my mic. Cancelling our magic in an instant. I am impressed, Kier. However, as long as the three of us are together, you shall never defeat us. Just so you know, since coming up with our Trinity attack, we haven't lost a single battle. Not to anyone. Come on, stop! Why do we have to fight? This world belongs to the humans, not us. You're a rare blood! Oops. You must understand our pain. That was Kocha. Quatra? Hi. I see sentence. Ouch! I just can't let them do their combo attack, so I gotta kill one sister very quickly. And I will go after Tron. Come on, come on, Setsuna. Come on, Setsuna. Yay, uh, coup de gras. Oh, wait, um, I think I was supposed to button mash more and I did it. Yes! Done! Oh, she's alive again? Mother flipping, okay. Oh, no! Oh, wait, that wasn't that bad. Okay, but I gotta get rid of, um... I can't see her! I gotta get rid of first one. She has life, too. The one with the pigtails. Come on, Setsuna. Combo, coup de grace. Oh, it attacked all of them? Cool. Oh, flame. Mm. Whoa, I got a... Uh... What the freak? How am I supposed to kill them? Okay, let's try this again. Please die. Oh, thank you, they all died together. That was confusing. Ugh, I messed up. Kier threw me off at the last moment. Kier was not in this battle. I did? 
Ooh, that was so high pitched for him. If it wasn't for that, we would have won for sure. Why? Why did this have to happen? Couldn't be helped. We can't change how we are. This too was fate. But. But. Mommy. <gasps> she spoke! Oh, they're dying. I killed them. Hey, Kier. Just so you know, I really was happy that you asked us to join you. I'm sorry, I said I hated you. If only. If only we'd met each other sooner. Oh, she didn't even say anything. She just went. But why did they have to die for it? I obtained the Dark Moon, I obtained Doom. What's this? A Spirit Knight stone of theirs? Or maybe the Spirit Knight is them, Kier. Maybe they became that Spirit Knight so they could always be with you. Throw it away! No, take the care of it. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Jelly. Kier. If I'd been in their position, maybe I would have done the same thing too. Well, you ain't. You're you, kid. And you met us. That's what fate is, and no one can change it. All you can do is choose your path and walk along it. Yeah, I know that old man. But when you say it, I feel like arguing back. Are you sure you're alright, Kier? If you want, we can rest for a while. Don't worry about me. I got four people supporting me now. My brother and those three girls. I'm truly disappointed to hear that you do not count us among those supporting you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Of course, my mistake. You're all supporting me. Let me correct myself. I've got ten people supporting me. Count. Ah, come on, bring it on. Alright, don't get carried away, kid. Uh, let's equip that bringer of destruction. Oh, he's so low level. Um, what should I take out? Uh, I'll take out fire. Why not? Okay, and that's it for Kier. Maybe I'll keep Setsuna in my party because uh, Coup de Grasse is really powerful. Okay, um, but I do have to take her out for now because we're doing Julianne next. And I don't think she has a battle. I hope she doesn't have a battle. Oh no, what if I talk to Hydor now and he's like, where are those girls? Here, you seem to be in good health. I am pleased. Treasure the life you have and use it for yourself and for others. And no, nope, no mention of the three dead girls. Peachy. Awesome. Well then, we shall move on. Do I need to heal up? Yeah, let's heal. Just in case. No wait, I might have to battle so I might as well leave the healing for the food. Okay, uh, Royberg. Royberg was... I need a map. Let's see, Hidbury... Royberg, Royberg. Bridging case... How does anybody remember where anything is? Uh, this is Apart Ruins, right? That means... This should be Royberg? Please land. Awesome. Yes, Royberg. Uh, let's see. I'm all healed up. Actually, I was automatically healed. Or no, wait, I wasn't. Because it looks like Setsuna still hurt. Yeah. Oh well, I'll save it at the time. Okay. Who do I talk to? Cornelius. Where was he? I don't remember. Big house? Here?
Your Highness, what on earth is wrong? Cornelius, I have come back because there's something I wish to ask you. Something you wish to ask me? I want you to tell me a tale that you often told me as a child. The tale of the blacksmith who stole the royal spirit knight stone. The tale of the robber smith, you mean? Of course, but what on earth for? If the stone in that tale really does exist, then I need it. No, no, your highness. It is simply an old folk tale. There is no truer than the tale of the frog swordsman. That's frog. It's Glenn. But it's not possible that even an old folk tale holds some secret. That nursery rhyme certainly did. Well, I suppose that is true. Very well, I shall be crowned briefly. I don't remember what voice I gave him, so my accent's going all over the place. A thousand years ago, there was a royal blacksmith who lived in the royal capital. He had inherited his forge from his father, but it was not going well. And in truth, he did not wish to run it at all. He wished only to live alone, away from people, and away from everything. One day, the blacksmith heard a rumor. This rumor told of a spirit nightstone created by the royal family that could grant any wish. From that day on, he spent all his time thinking of it and was unable to concentrate on anything else. He dreamed of making his wish to the stone, of being alone, away from people and away from everything. Before too long, he plucked up his courage, snuck into the palace, and stole it. He escaped into the Archimel ruins and was able to successfully shake off his pursuers, the royal guards. No one knows if the powers of the Spirit Knight helped him to escape, or if it was merely by chance. No one ever saw the blacksmith again after that. Days passed, and months passed, and eventually, people stopped searching for him altogether. This was because a rumor spread that anyone who uttered his name inside the ruins would instantly be cursed. Perhaps to this day, the blacksmith still inside the ruins, away from all people, and away from everything, simply clutching the royal spirit knight stone. Do you think the blacksmith found happiness? You don't need a spirit knight stone to make yourself alone. Just move somewhere and without telling anyone. And fend for yourself. It's not that hard. Thank you, Cornelius. I remember it now. A tale with a moral, eh? Don't do it, Julianne! You mustn't go near the stone! You mustn't! You'll be cursed! Even if that is so, if such a stone it really does exist, then I think it is a risk worth taking. That is how desperate our situation now is. Well, it can't hurt to give it a try, right? I mean, we're going off information from a story told to little kids, so it might not be true anyway. In fact, it's pretty likely it ain't true. Not you too, old man! Didn't you hear the bit about the curse? We're not scared of a little curse, are we? If you like, you can stay here and wait for us, though. <laughs> He's like, uh, nope. <sighs> Alright, I'll go, I'll go! Do you know the name of the blacksmith in the tale, Cornelius? No, I'm afraid I do not. I know him simply as the blacksmith. Yeah, we ain't ever gonna be able to find out the name of some guy from a thousand years ago. No, wait. Even if it didn't do too well, he had his own forge, right? Yeah, of course. The story said so. Then ain't there some way we can look that up? Find out where his forge was back then? Uh, we'll have to go there ourselves. Go where? I see. Yes, of course. Huh? What? Where? Yes, right. We can go back. We can go look in the ruins of the royal capital. Exactly. You sure are a smart bunch, ain't you? Huh? What? Time in the royal capital stands still due to the time judge's power. Although it was already deserted in the first place, of course. Of course. Why didn't I not think of that? You truly are a wise man, Jelly. Oh, right. That's what you mean. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but I thought it was obvious, you know. Oh, give me a break. You're full of a kid. Ha, 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 ha. Shenanigans and giggles. Cornelius, it is the first time in a long while that I have seen you smile. Well, it brings a smile to an old man's face, your highness. You truly have been blessed with wonderful companions. Yes, indeed. Come on, let's go. We need to go find out the name of the blacksmith in the royal capital, right? Yes, let us go. To the royal capital. 
So they're talking about the time judge, so I'm guessing it's the uh, the last lands place. Sorry, I really need water. My throat is drying out like crazy. <sighs> okay, uh now it says I don't need Julian, so I will switch her out. Or Setsuna. Setsuna's her. I'll heal her later. Okay, last lands are... This is too far north. Come on, I know where it is. Yeah, here we are. Wait, what? Are you for real? I thought it was enough on the land. Curses. Curse you. Last lands. Okay. Mm, it says when we reach the houses, go to the right. Uh, is it here? What? Oh, I thought I went into battle stance and I was like, uh, Grinch. Here it is. It says forge. Really? Grinch. So that is the name of the man who stole the Royal Spirit Knight Stone. So if we call out that name in the Archimel Ruins, he'll appear? You think? Sounds pretty fishy to me. Are you scared, Kier? What? No, of course not. Why would I be scared? I just don't think we should waste too much time on this. Fine, let's go. Let's go to the Archimel Ruins. We'll call out Grinch. Simple. Nothing to it. Yeah, he's scared alright. Let me make sure um, Setsuna is equipped with Gagrath and she does- okay, she does have Thinkulum. Titan 2, blah 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 blah. Do we need more for her? Dragon Life? Special damage? Alpha Deer, Avenger, Return, Bait. Light Bit? Increases the power. I think I already have a life bit on her. I do not. Whoa. Well, then I'll equip life bit on her. To give her more power. And then, was there anything I could give her? Absorbing HP and attacking? Yeah, I guess I'll give that to her. Mega lift. And. Her lightning is cheer. I'll do prayer just in case. We need to heal MP. So now I have to go into the Archimel ruins. Right? Okay. Archimel should be on top of Royberg. Such a back and forth with Julian's side quest, man. So annoying. <laughs> okay, that's. That's Royberg, so this should be Archimel. Why do you have to exit from the right of the boat? Oh, this is Arparth. Oh, shoot, where's Archimel then? Oh, gosh, darn it. Arparth. Oh, Archimel's to the left. To the west. Um, right? Archimel. Okay, yeah, it's inside the mountain. This should be Archimel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to heal. Just in case. MP should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna save also because I did a lot of back and forth traveling. And I don't know when my PS4 is gonna freak out. Seriously, earlier I did I pressed nothing. And it just went to my home screen. Weird. Do I have to like go through this entire place? I hope I don't. Uh, go from the teleporter. Go north one stream, then directly east to another teleporter. Uh, I don't want to find anyone right now. Nope. I got no time to deal with you. Wait, what? There should be a teleporter here. Oh gosh, darn it! I fight anyway. 
Attack, attack, attack. Oh, yay. Oh, they're still like super low levels, so they're really easy to kill. Good, good. On the teleporter, go north on screen, directly east to another. T Wait, what? Is it from this teleporter that I have to go north? But there was nothing to the. up there. I can speak. I know words. Yeah, there's nothing. So from this teleporter... <sighs> Where we are going is easiest to get from the south entrance by Gatherington? What? Wait, maybe I'm at the wrong place. Is there another way to get into Archimo? And where's Gatherington? Where's Gatherington? I am in the wrong place. I'm at the north. <laughs> okay, I didn't want the Sunset Chitron. I wanted to get on the attack. Uh, it should be here. No, that's the little path. Where's the exit for the... It's not here because this... This freaking sucks! Gatherington. Fridging caves. I'll just park here? Oh wait, I think... No, this is the fridging caves. Yeah, it's not that. Where we are going is easy to get from the south entrance by Gatherington. Make sure you save your game outside. Is there a way out here? From the ruins? This is nothing. That's an abandoned village. That's a shiny that I don't need. I'm pretty sure Fridging Caves wasn't the way in. Is it? This is Magna Valley. Damn! In the valley, Archimel. Oh, it's on the other side of Gatherington. It's like way south. Mother flipping. That's Gatherington. This is it. I was a fool. Okay, now I'm going to save for real. Freaking. I hate reading maps. I suck at them. Without GPS, I would be a lost soul. Okay, now I can do this. From the teleporter. Go north one screen. Okay, so I'm guessing from here I have to go north. Whoa! No 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 I'm just gonna go as north as I possibly can. Okay. And then we're gonna go east. We're gonna go all the way right. Yeah! My name is Julian. I have a question for you, Grinch the blacksmith. I wish to know where the Royal Spirit Knight Stone is hidden. Stop it! We're all gonna get cursed! My name is Julianne. I have a question for you, Grinch the Blacksmith. I wish to know where the Royal Spirit Knight Stone is hidden. See? No reply. He isn't here. Let's just give up. We can just... Uh-oh. Huh? What? What was that? That is my name. Who calls it? My name is Julianne. I am a descendant of the royal family. A descendant? 
of the royal family? The royal family. The cursed royal family. How I despise the royal family. O oh, spirit of Grinch the blacksmith, I wish for you to return to Royal Spirit Knight Stone. I am no it? What? Huh? I am no spirit. Fight me! Uh, also, just in case. Nope, not tech. I'm gonna eat food again. It was the. What was it? It wasn't deep fried lettuce. Uh, snow belt, mushroom stew. Let's go, let's go! We're in some weird place again, huh? Like what happened to me before. Except this time it seems we're all here. Looks like we've been sucked into somewhere else inside the ruins. Could this be Grinch's doing? So Grinch isn't here after all. Not that it's even possible he's still alive, of course. No, he is here. I can sense a human presence. Yes, it appears so. Huh? What? Where? Where is he? Kira needs to stop asking questions. He's getting freaking annoying. I'm tired of doing his voice. This space itself is him. Yes, you may be right. He's human, but at the same time, no longer human. Huh? What? Shut up, Kier. <laughs> I've had enough of your nonsense. You're getting annoying. Grinch really did exist. Sadly, he was taken over by the stone. But because of that, he stayed alive here in these ruins. Oh no, it's one of these dudes. How can someone be taken over by a stone? And stay here for a thousand years, too! A thousand years. For a thousand years, I have been unable to die. And unable to return to my human form. How I hate the royal family. How I loathe them so- You're the one who decides to steal the spare knight, don't blame Bum, you stupid idiot. Well, I don't know how you figured that one out. You're the one who stole the royal spirit knight, ain't ya? Ain't your mother ever tell you it was wrong to steal? Away from everyone, and away from everything. Looks like you got your wish, doesn't it? Except now we've shown up, so you're not alone anymore. The wrongs of the royal family have br brought you great suffering. Will you let me rectify those wrongs? No. The stone is mine. It's mine. So you like the stone, but you hate it. You're basically Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Mine. It's no use, Julian. The spirit and I took control of him over a thousand years ago. Even if we can still sense some human presence, he isn't human anymore. There's no way we can bring him back. He exists here eternally. He himself has become the stone, an undying monster. The spirit knight has amplified his own greed to the point where it controls him completely. Hmm. If you want to make up for what happened to him, as one of the royals, all you can do now is try to free his spirit. Time to fall on your own so No! Give him his last rites! Let him die. There's nothing else to be done. All you can do is end this. And end it we shall. Yo, this is like freaking Unalaska battle. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're actually not that slow still, so... Come on, come on, come on. Combo! Good grass. Boom! Sucka! Why do those numbers come up now? They never popped up before. Missile punch! Ow! Come on, Satsuna, go! Yeah, coup de grace. Yes, I missed them. What are those random words popping up? Hey, I healed myself. Woohoo! Look how much I healed myself. That's cool. Rampage. Uh oh. Come on, that's enough. Stop. Ooh, 
can we not use Kudura? Oh, damn it! Stop, what? Confusion. All status ailments. Yeah, sure. Now, can I use it? I can't. Because the turn is not ready. Oh! Come on, Eterna. Yep. Why can we not use it? Okay. There we go. It's because combo wasn't highlighted. Lame. Nice! He dead. Yes, it sets in that level up. Kuda Grass is amazing. Finally. Finally, my wish has been granted. Away from everyone, away from everything. I can be alone in peace. You could have just moved away, dude! So we finally got his wish. Inside these ruins, there are no living beings and no dead ones. No humans and no monsters. No soul can attain peace here. So the stone didn't grant wishes after all. It was just too powerful. Far too powerful for any regular human to control. It can only be used by one who's ready for its power. Yeah, right. The stone itself has done no wrong. I guess it can be used for good, or for evil. All depends on whose hands it, it's in. I shall use this royal spirit knight stone. I shall atone for the past mistakes of the royal family. I shall use it to create a new future. I attained Eclipse! Let's put that on her. Pride of the royals. Oop. Command spirit knight. Eclipse. Dang, she can do a lot of combos with that. I need to level up people more. Now I gotta get out of here. Woo! Man, I need to take a break. My throat hurts and I'm getting tired. Ugh. I haven't been able to rest well and it sucks. Right? It was to the east, so now I have to go down. Yes! And then this next screen, I just have to go as south as possible. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me! I'm a monster. Okay, so now we only have- Whoa! Don't look at me! Maybe after I save, I'll see if I can... I can fight those guys. Wait, but then I don't have to leave. Oh well, too late, I already left. I'll eat another um, food and I'll try to kill them and see if I can. Okay, well... Two... I... Blah, what am I... Two more side quests done. And I was saying earlier, one more left to go. It's five. And then after that, I think I'm just going to move on to the last battle. Woohoo! So I'm going to take a short break. And then I will continue with more of this because I feel like I'm really close to the end of the game. I just want to finish it. Uh, maybe I'll try level grinding everyone to be at least 60? Fides is really low. Oh gosh, that's not going to be fun leveling him up. Uh, and then, yeah, excited to see the end of this, and then I'll have to think of a new game to play, or I'll, maybe I'll finish playing Persona 4 Golden. So many things I can do. Why am I rambling? I'm getting really tired. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.